This is demonstration of a bug that I believe I've found in Ubiquity firmware version 6 and 603. Uh, it seems to only affect the NanoStation M2s, not these M5 units, but I'll go through a brief description here. So these full-size nano stations have the input and output so you can run a second PoE device off of them. Just for demonstration I've hooked up another radio. Um, as you can see it is not powered on currently. This is the M5 in which the firmware is working correctly. So if we go to, I believe it's advanced, and then down here to PoE pass-through, enable change and then as soon as I click apply well not as soon but it'll take a minute those lights will come on there we go so it's currently passing through PoE power to power the second device now I will turn it off and change and then apply and there it is so with the M5 nano station it is working properly here we go so I'm gonna hook up a M2 nano station and you will see it has power constantly regardless of the PoE pass-through setting in the control panel have a nano station M2 focus there we go um, I do not have it plugged in but you can see the main has the blue Ethernet port and the secondary has the gray so I'm going to plug it in at the PoE adapter and as soon as I do you should see both of those light up there you go so we'll go into the control panel and take a look at the settings for that okay so here we are with the Nano Station M2 booted up. As you can see, both of these are powered. And we'll go into the control panel here, into Advanced, and you'll see PoE pass through is not enabled. So, without PoE pass through enabled, the device is still passing power through. Now again, it is set up properly. This gray cable is on the secondary port of the M2 radio. And the main is going to the PoE, as it should be. But I found that this bug exists only on the M2, not the M5. And it exists on version 6 and 603 on the AeroS software. So I'm going to go grab support info and submit it to their website and hopefully we'll get this fixed because this seems like a recurring bug that keeps coming back. And just to clarify, both of these, both the M2 and the M5 that I have here are both on factory defaults except I had to change the IP address to this because this guy's also on defaults and they were both on the same IP. But they're both updated with um, TFTP flash and they're both on defaults so there's nothing screwing with this but just for fun let's go ahead and enable PoE pass through here Oops. and we'll do apply and nothing changed as quick as the M5 did so let's go let's see where are we we'll go down and disable PoE pass through hmm. did it finally restart Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, 
it accepted the change and restarted, but it still hasn't disabled it. Uh, oh, let's apply that. Okay, wrap it apply. Do that. This is disabling PoE pass through. And nothing. So in version 6 and 603 of AeroS for the NanoStation M2 devices, they will pass through PoE no matter what.